Hey guys, what's going on? Jeff here from Films at Home. Thanks for checking out my channel. Um, today we're going to do another 4K review just in time for the Oscars. I just watched this. I just checked out the 4K Blu-ray. Um, this is three billboards outside Epping, Missouri. So I'll talk a little bit about the 4K quality, the audio tracks, um, any of the special features that are on the disc, and then about the movie itself, of course, and, and what I think about its chances, basically, to win a bunch of awards. Um, as you can see, nominated for seven Academy Awards, one of the biggest of the year. Um, so I'll talk a little bit about my thoughts on uh, their award chances, because I, I do think that we're probably going to see multiple awards coming out of this movie. After I've just watched it, I feel even stronger about that. So uh, without further ado, let's play that intro and get into this review. All right, guys, so like I said, I just finished this. Um, this is Three Billboards. This is by Martin McDonoghue, um, or McDonough. McDonough is probably how you say it. Um, but stars Francis McDormand, Woody Harrelson, uh, Sam Rockwell, Lucas Hedges. Uh, it's got a really, really great cast. Actually, I'm, I'm drawing a blank on his name right now, but the brother of the sister in the family of Get Out is in this, and I think he's really an up-and-coming actor, so he's really good in this. I mean, it's a great cast, a lot of great actors, a lot of great performances, um, and overall, the movie is is really incredible. It has kind of a weird ending. Um, I don't know that I'm the biggest fan of how it ended, but the film is definitely uh, great, tells a really cool story, and it kind of splits down the middle where uh, you have the first half of the movie is dominated by Frances McDormand's character. Second half of the movie is really dominated by Sam Rockwell's character. Um, I honestly think that the two of them might both win. So Woody Harrelson would have an outside shot based on his uh, character in the movie, but I think Frances McDormand is a lock for Best Actress. I think Sam Rockwell is a lock for Best Supporting Actor. Um, I think uh, it's just a guarantee at this point. And uh, honestly, Three Billboards, I, I do think it's going to win Best Picture. It, it talks a lot about a lot of topics that are very hot right now, um, kind of the true crime stuff, uh, race relations, police you know, brutality, things like that. Like It really dives into a lot of hot topic issues, which the Oscars always love to kind of give the movie with a, a political undertones or, or a message behind it, the best picture. So... Um, when I go to vote, I fill out a little Oscar ballot about what I think is going to win. Uh, this is going to be my pick for Best Picture. Frances McDormand is my pick for Actress, and Sam Rockwell is definitely my pick for Supporting Actor. So um, I, I do think that it's going to win at least those three. It has an outside chance at screenplay and uh, director, um, but definitely you know the major categories. I think this could clean up, and so uh, you're going to want to check this out if you can watch it before the Oscars definitely do it. If you're watching this video after the Oscars have already ended, well, now you know whether my um, predictions are correct or not. But either way, really great movie. Definitely one of the best I've seen this year. And it's a little bit slow, but it has some really funny moments. Um, it's kind of really darkly comic. Like, it's it's a dark comedy. There's a lot of, there's a lot of funny stuff, but there's a lot of serious, you know, themes and in, in, in instances in the movie, too. So, um, but I do recommend it. It's one of my favorites from this year. It's it's easily in my top 10. Well-deserved, all the nominations. Um, I thought it was really great. All right, so now a little bit about the, the 4K quality. Um, quality of the movie, excellent. The disc, average. So this is not a true, true 4K title. Um, this is a movie that was only filmed at 3.4K, so somewhere close to 4K, but not quite there. And then it was finished uh, with the digital intermediate, which is how they finish the film, uh, basically render it and send it out to theaters and um, to distributors. That was put down at 2K. So we're not looking at a 4K movie in any means. It's not a true 4K title. So the resolution of the 4K disc is just gonna give you that slight, slight uptick over a Blu-ray. Now, there are some darker scenes in here and some stuff with a lot of color, um, a lot of things take place, kind of, there are landscape shots, lots of green, um, lots of good color around the town, definitely when they're in the um, kind of downtown center of Epping, 
and that whole area, a lot of bright lights, really great stuff for HDR. So again, in this case, the 4K disc, your biggest benefit is gonna be the HDR, it's not gonna be the resolution. I uh, popped in the Blu-ray disc, compared it to the 4K. My eyes can't see the difference sitting 10 feet away from a screen on a 55 inch screen. There's no noticeable difference in resolution. You can see the difference in HDR. There are a couple scenes with, with fire. Um, you can tell the fire is much brighter, much more vibrant on the 4K disc versus the Blu-ray. There are some dark scenes that take place at night. Um, those are much clearer, the, the HDR and the deep blacks that that brings make it much easier to make out any nighttime scenes or any dark sequences um, and just better contrast in those things so you can really see what's going on. Um, but yeah, the, the resolution is not the big seller here. It's really just the HDR at that point. And so if you're torn on which one you're gonna go with for this release, I don't think you can go wrong with the Blu-ray, uh, especially if you're you're kind of still trying to save a few bucks. Um, it's about five dollars more for the 4K disc usually, and you know this is it's not a true 4K, so you don't have to run out and and definitely make sure you get the 4K disc. But if you're an early adopter and you've been collecting 4K, then at this point I think it makes sense. These 4K discs are even coming down to 23. $24 versus a new Blu-ray used to be $22, $23. So it's really only a, a $2 difference. Blu-ray dipped a few bucks, but you're basically spending the same amount of money for a physical release at this point when it's brand new. And I think this is one that, because it's not gonna be a super popular 4K title, I think you're gonna be able to find the 4K uh, for a little bit cheaper down the road. So maybe just keep an eye out on it. Uh, there might be some good deals on it if it does win Best Picture. So. Um, at that point, it might be a good buy. Uh, but for right now, if you're, if you're really budgeting, you could definitely go with the Blu-ray for visual quality um, and also because of the audio. So jump into the audio real quick. This doesn't have anything special. There's no Dolby Atmos. There's no DTSX. It's just a DTS HD uh, Master Audio 5.1. So it's an HD surround soundtrack, but it's pretty standard stuff. You know, this has been around for three, four, five years or even longer now. As far as I've been collecting, DTS HD was kind of the standard until uh, 7.1 tracks came along and now the Atmos tracks. So it's an older audio uh, surround track and the 4K doesn't make any difference there. You're getting the same track on Blu-ray or 4K. So again, another thing, you know, if you're not super concerned about the HDR and you just want to save a few bucks, Blu-ray would be okay on this. Um, but the 4K does, in moments, give you a better uh, quality picture. So now in terms of special features, again, no real selling points for the 4K. All the special features are on the Blu-ray disc. Um, there are a couple behind the scenes, making of, featurettes, things like that. Typical kind of stuff. Um, there's a gallery, which like every disc has. But then there's also a short film from the director uh, called Six Shooter. I believe it was one of um, just his early kind of short film entries. Every director starts out by making shorts and submitting them to festivals and kind of gaining traction, building a portfolio. So this was um, the director of, of Three Billboards. His short is on here, kind of cool. Um, you get basically an inside look at at his, his thought process and, and how he kind of started into filmmaking, which is always nice. That's something that a lot of Criterion discs do as they push short films from the directors. Uh, so that was cool to see on a standard release for sure. Um, but yeah, overall, if you're if you're budgeting, go with the Blu-ray. If you're an early adopter, you like HDR, you like high quality, you know, you, you're gonna notice the difference between 4K and Blu-ray. You're gonna have to have a very trained eye to do that. Like I said, even I could barely tell the difference in resolution. But if you're buying these movies in 4K, you know, then there's no point in going backwards. For a couple bucks, you should get the 4K version. Uh, make sure you have the best quality you can and, and take full advantage of the, the setup that you've paid for. Take full advantage of the TV with HDR, you know, all that stuff you paid a bunch of money for, you should use it. So, you know, what's two extra dollars to get HDR on this? It's really nothing in the long run. So um, in that instance, I say go 4K, but for your typical collectors or anybody out there who hasn't made the move to 4K yet, you're safe buying this on Blu-ray there's not gonna be a real need to upgrade. It's not a film that's gonna need an upgrade in the future. Um, so unless it gets remastered in 4K, which 
doesn't make a lot of sense since it was shot at a lower resolution. You're gonna be safe with a, a Blu-ray purchase for this, um, but I recommend the 4K as well. It's a really good disc. It's just not necessarily worth the money, especially if you haven't upgraded. Don't hold out to upgrade and buy this later. Just buy the Blu-ray because it's a really good film. It looks great. It just, there isn't a huge upgrade when you go to 4K. All right, guys, so that's about it. That's the three billboards outside Epping, Missouri 4K review. Uh, let me know what you guys think. You know, the Oscars, as I'm making this video, the Oscars are tomorrow night. So a lot of you guys obviously will be watching this after the Oscars um, if you're trying to check out the quality of the disc. But uh, definitely let me know what your predictions are. If I'm wrong, hammer me in the comments. Tell me why I'm wrong. You know, I, I totally understand. I, I think it's a toss up between Shape of Water and Three Billboards. So it could go either way, but I do think that their Three Billboards is gonna lock up the actress and supporting actor and probably the screenplay award. I think it'll win three or four. So it's gonna be a big player uh, at the Oscars this year. And it's a, it's a definite best picture candidate. So uh, it's one you're gonna wanna have in your collection. If you collect best pictures and this ends up winning, you know, then this is one you're gonna wanna buy. I try to get all the best pictures every year. And, you know, I end up buying every movie anyway because I have them all. But I, I like getting the best pictures from, from past years and making sure I have those as, as kind of a piece of movie history. So, um, you know, for that reason, I recommend to pick up. It's a nice 4K. If you can get the Blu-ray and that's what you want to stick with, you'll be okay with that too. And the audio is just, it's, it's solid, but it's nothing special. So um, you really can't go wrong, but you're buying this one more for the quality of the movie than for any outstanding visual or audio effects. It's just not gonna give you that. It's not that type of film. So if, if you're buying this for your collection, it's because you love the movie or you wanna check it out in high quality and, and stay away from streaming and you wanna own it. So uh, for those reasons, I consider it a good purchase. Um, but let me let me know what you guys think in the comments and then um, let me know if you like this video. It's, it's been a couple weeks since I did a 4K review. It's been a while, so I'm trying to do more of these. Um, I've got a couple coming up that I need to get through. I got a nice little backlog. So uh, check out my older ones if you're getting into 4K. It's a great resource for finding out what's worth a pickup uh, right when you start. There's some really good discs out there. I've done some top 10 videos. Go check all those out. Um, and just subscribe to this channel for sure. You know, we're, we're blowing up quick here. We're getting to 20 subscribers a day at some points. It's really going fast. I appreciate all the love. I'm new to this, so I appreciate any comments, any uh, questions, concerns, any advice, or any recommendations for a new video. I'd love to hear that from you guys. Um, and also make sure to follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter. I'll put those links down in the description, uh, but definitely send me a message there. You can ask me questions. I'm on there all the time. Uh, let me know which, you know, if you have questions about 4K, you have questions about home theater, questions about, you know, how you want to set up your home theater or what you should buy, or shelving or like anything with your movie collection, I can help you out. I've already done it all. I've been through it all. So um, I can give you some recommendations and that stuff. So definitely say hi. Uh, even if you're just gonna say, hey, I love your videos. I always get back to people. I appreciate that a lot. It keeps me motivated, it keeps me going. So um, thank you to everyone who's done that so far and keep them coming and uh, just keep watching guys. And uh, thanks for watching this review. That's about all I've got for today. Uh, enjoy the Oscars and I will see you next time.